Speaking of surgery, Mike D'Antoni had surgery uh, a couple of months back. How's the uh, how's the knee, by the way, there, Coach? I'm good, Dan. I'm good. That's not, at least in my problems right now. <laughs> All right. Speaking of uh, problems, there watching the game yesterday. As you watch the tape, what's going to drive you crazy today about that? Well. You know, I, I thought overall we defensively we did what we we talked about. We can tighten up some things, and some other things will go awry. Will go awry, but uh, for the most part, defensively we we kind of stuck with the game plan and did a pretty good job. The biggest thing was turnovers. Obviously, the number one thing that's been plaguing us all year, and we have to do a better job of cleaning some uh, things up. And then you got to make shots. And I give them credit. Uh, the nobody came in and hit their big shots, and we didn't hit any big shots. What did you expect from Ginobili prior to the game? Well, I've been dealing with the guy for about 15 years. First in Italy when, I, when I, we were against him about two or three years there, and then over here, he's great. And he, the, the bigger the moment, the bigger he is. I had no doubt. I was you know, not hoping, obviously, being a sporting man, that he was still hurt. But uh, since he did play, you knew he was going to be huge, and he was. And, you know, that's, that's why they win. Uh, they've got guys with big hearts and uh, come up big moments. I thought there was a 90-second span where Ginobili took over the game and you guys didn't recover. Right. I agree with you. Uh, and he did that. I thought it was, uh, you know, a couple of times. Once in the first half, they got the lead because of him. And then uh, in the second <laughs> half, he kind of put a dagger in. So, so you're right. The, the frustrating part of that, you're not sure what Ginobili is going to give you. Duncan, you know, if I'm Popovich, I just want him to hold, hold his own with Dwight Howard. Tony Parker uh, seemed like he was taking advantage, certainly with uh, Nash in there or anybody else that was guarding him. He almost seemed like he was the guy, if you're going to try to shut somebody down, the guy you, you focused on. Uh, how difficult is that or was that for you yesterday? Well, it's always difficult. He's, uh, he's probably playing the one, having one of his best years of his career, which is a great career. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job. I, I think he's like eight for twenty-one or something. So the percentages didn't kill you. He's going to be a focal point. We have to do a, a great job of trying to contain him on the sideline on pick and rolls. He gets to the middle a little bit too up more too often. Uh, but at the same time, you know, when you hold him to thirty-seven percent shooting and you out rebound him, then you know why did you lose? And being you know, Ginobili hit big shots and uh, we turned the ball over too many times. So those are two things we got to concentrate on. You're looking at your offense and how much it changes now with Kobe not being in there and how much time can you sort of reassemble these guys to say it's different now. Uh, in their minds, they're so used to Kobe. So as a coach, what do you say to share the ball more or take advantage of this? Well, we have to uh, – you know, the big thing, too, we put Steve Nash back in. So obviously there are different points of emphasis uh, when he comes back and, and trying to get him healthy. So we we shifted a little bit anyway since the two games we played, but the Embers are going to be playing inside out and and getting the ball inside. It's causing some of our turnovers. We we just have to find ways to clean it up and get it a little bit easier to get the ball in and let Dwight and Powell uh, facilitate and go to work. So we'll keep working at that. But I, you know I think they can do that. Uh, I don't think it's you know we will have some hiccups along the way, but uh, they keep playing hard and keep concentrating the defensive end. We'll be okay. He's Mike D'Antoni, the Lakers head coach. Wednesday night, game two against the Spurs. Speaking of getting the ball inside, Kobe was tweeting about getting the ball inside. I know you were asked questions after. Did you realize that Kobe was tweeting his comments, almost being an analyst during the game? No, no, I didn't know that. No. Did you care? No, I mean, no. You know, all my you know tweets are part of my world now. <laughs> we grew up in a different world, but you know that's that's part of it, and. Uh, uh, we got a job, you know, everybody's focused and doing what they're doing. So I don't think it, you know, the loss of one way or the other. Well, the only thing I'd be concerned about, I mentioned this last hour, is that it could come off as he's second guessing the coach. <laughs> well, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm really just going to focus in on what I got to focus in on and then we'll see, see where it goes. Is this, uh, was this a successful regular season? No, not successful. No, I, I don't think anybody, uh, I, I thought that, uh, we, in, in one aspect, a little not satisfying, but in a way that these guys hung in there. We were down. We were on the bottom. Uh, and to get off the bottom, it took a lot of the guys to pull together, put their differences uh, aside, and they did that. And so I think they should be happy with that moment and getting into the playoffs. I think that's good. Getting seventh place, that's good. But, no, I, you know, it's too bad. It's uh, a crazy year with the injuries and with uh, changing the coaches and, and different ways and different styles of playing. 
uh, kind of like a perfect storm. I think it was disappointing to the fans and, and everybody, but at the same time, we do have a really good group of guys that are, that are pulling together and trying to do what they can do to win. Why did Mitch Kupchak say you were coming back next year as the head coach? Was there doubt? Oh, I don't know. Oh, there's always doubt. <laughs> there's doubt in every, only about 30 coaches in this league. It's, uh, you know, I don't know. You have to ask Mitch. Uh, but there's a, I think anytime the Lakers finish seventh, there's always doubt. Uh, anytime the Lakers are struggling to get in the playoffs, there's always going to be doubt. So uh, it was out there, and, and uh, rightly so. But, uh, you know, you have to talk to Mitch about why he made the net when he did. Glad he did. But, uh, uh you know, I, those aren't things that I can control or worry about. I can only try to can try to win games, and that's kind of my focus is there. Well, did you wonder about next year based on a seventh place finish? You got into the playoffs. Yeah, you know. No, I mean, I think every coach wonder. Every coach is a little paranoid. Every coach has his moments of doubts. Every coach is like, looking, oh my gosh!" Uh, but you keep fighting, and you know. Again, I think I, I said it before. You know, if I'm 40 years old, I, I think I'd be a little bit more paranoid. I, I, you know, 62, going through the ringer, this and that. You do the best you can do at this point, and whatever happens, happens, and and you go on and try to work. I love coaching, and I love what we're in, in the battle. I love it. So, you know, I, you don't really have time to worry, but I think everybody, it's a normal thought process. How frustrating is it, though, that you're not able to run your style of offense, or at least what we knew of Mike D'Antoni's offense? It's something different. Well, I don't know about frustrating. I, I still believe in that type of basketball. I still believe that uh, is the best way. But obviously, you can try to, uh, you try to play also the strengths of your players. And you know, they they have a lot of strength, so you know it's up to me to change. I've got, I've got to change what I think and get the most out of what I have. Now you know, do I you know do I look at other other teams and say, well, yeah, I like that style, I like this style. I think that's normal, but I'm okay with this. I, it's more relationships and how hard the guys play and having their hearts into it. That's where a coach gets satisfaction from. It's it's not oh boy that looks pretty. I like to run up and down. I, you know, I do. But uh, that's not why you're in the coaching. Thanks for joining us, uh, especially after the loss. Good luck Wednesday. No problem, Dan. Thank you. All right. Mike D'Antoni.